gonna take a little bit, okay? So you just take your rest, because you're gonna need it later on, okay? Need you, Mira. Okay, there you are, good girl. Good girl, baby. Yeah. This cascade must mean we're getting close to Banff. Uh, almost to Banff. Then we get to keep going up in the forest. We left Canmore, headed to Banff along the Legacy Trail, which is a paved path adjacent to the highway uh, between Canmore and Banff. And then you probably, you can definitely hear the traffic, I'm certain. And then, uh, yeah, from Banff, we'll follow the uh, Great Divide mountain bike route. Here we are again, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah. It's been such a long time for both of us. All oh, this COVID, quarantine, and work. Oh my God. Ah, so nice to get out. I tell you though, this bike feels super heavy. But five days of food at least. And, uh, <laughs> which is probably not necessary. We'll take a break, we'll recharge, ride some more on the Great Divide, and then we'll take a, a dinner, and then we'll get some more riding in this afternoon. How about that? Sound good? Man, oh man, you're like a, a down sleeping bag with a hole in it. Look at all of this. Look at all this fur still coming off you. Yeah. Hey. Okay, baby. Let's have some, let's, I'm gonna eat. No, no. Ugh. Yeah. Well, uh, we've taken a little break in Banff. It's uh, 20 to two, still blazing hot, surprise. But the mosquitoes were too bad and I didn't want to put on bug dope. So we're gonna ride. Hopefully we'll be in the shade enough and access to water so we can keep it pleasant here. And we'll just follow the Great Divide all the way down to Fernie. Maybe Fernie. Tomorrow? Oh, there's a stream. I'm gonna give water to Mira. Good girl. Lay down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice green forest. Look beside the river, beside the spray. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, this is terrific. This is what I've been waiting for. Yeah, that's beautiful up there. Getting pretty close to the top of the Goat Creek Trail. So uh, just, we'll be above Canmore anyway, getting close there. But uh, with all this heat, you're getting a convective buildup. So big puffy clouds and uh, they've gotten thick enough that it's starting to rain a little bit. These big fat drops. So hopefully it doesn't mean uh, that we get a thunder and lightning storm. Oh yeah, it's definitely raining now. Not a lot, but enough that if someone asked you, you would say, it's raining. <laughs> and that's awesome. Cool us off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. The rain's coming down and you got yourself a stick. 
Couldn't get much better. Hi. Hello. <laughs> You're gonna hang on to that stick for a bit? Okay. Look at this heavy beast. Dirty. That bag is bulging with dog food. The zippers is barely closed. I had to be very careful, slow putting those up there. I probably shouldn't have done that. Bring it home, baby. Bring it home. That's it. Oh, Loch Ness Mira. <laughs> shake it, shake it. <laughs> Banff National Park, and that's uh, Ha Ling, and through that gap is Canmore, down in the valley. I think I've shown that to you guys before. In fact, that um, 360 footage that uh, I showed Mira and I zipping down the hill, passing cars, that's where it was, just over there. And right now I'm on the uh, Great Divide mountain bike route. I'm facing south. Baby, we're gonna go for a bike ride. It's almost 4.20, and we're gonna go have some dinner, and then we're gonna ride into the evening. Okay, baby? So bring your stick. Come on, let's go. It's pretty much raining now. It's a uh, big drop. Got thunder. I haven't seen any lightning, but I haven't been looking for it, honestly. And uh, yeah, it's, the green's kind of cold. It sort of felt good for a little bit, but now it's actually a little cold. But I don't want to put my jacket on. It was so hot earlier. <laughs> I know that's a strange kind of logic. That's the way I feel. Soak this up, and then uh, I keep riding. I'll stay warm enough. I don't know if you can make it out there. This is the only waterproof camera I have that'll, no, weatherproof anyway. That'll maybe show it. But yeah, awesome descent down through the mountains here. It's beautiful. Uh, yeah, what time we got now? It's uh, yeah, ten to five. So we'll cruise down here a little bit, do this slop, and then what we'll do, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll make some dinner probably, if we uh, can find a little shelter. I don't want to be stood out in the rain. <clears throat> yeah, look at this all flooded up. Drink, drink, drink. Can you drink some water? So beautiful, oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Look at that. Spectacular K country. Yeah. I'm having dinner now, and I want Mira to have dinner. So I hit, oh, she's already found it. So I hid some salami in there. So he would start eating. Didn't seem too hungry. Wanted to play more. Yeah, but now you're eating, that's good. Yeah, I just wanted her eating so that she had time to digest by the time that I finished up. I don't want her to be running on a, on a full stomach. I want her to have time to digest. And if you don't eat at all, that's okay. I'll give it to some other dog. You don't need the food. <laughs> Kidding. I'll pack it away, you can have it later. You can still have dessert. There we are, all pitched, ready to put a mattress in, and Mira 
and hide from the bugs. Yeah. How you doing, sweetheart? Zippers are getting a little crusty. And since this is a short trip, but I guess if I was going to the desert, it'd probably do the same. I just brought a little zipper lube. Just to kind of, actually, let's see if I can. Just to try and do a little maintenance on these things while we have the time. On these lightweight tents, the zippers are really fragile and they don't take the abuse all that well sometimes and the tents are expensive so just a little bit of maintenance goes a long way and so they're pretty crusty before and I'll just kind of work that in yeah and I'll just keep working on both sides there and use some of the time I have this evening more repair time this tent is made from Dyneema it's non-woven Kuban fiber. Basically, it's made out of out of uh, unicorn hair, unicorn silk. So <laughs> it's expensive. Basically, it, you got to choose from three things: that's lightweight, durable, and cheap. And so this is pretty lightweight. It's very lightweight, and it's been pretty durable. Um, so you don't get the third one. And so I got a little tiny tear in it. This thing has been uh, down the Baja a couple of times, I guess now. And um, a bunch through the US. And so yeah, little tiny repair to do there. So just measure that out. I think with this stuff, it's just a peel and stick. I haven't used it before, so got lots of it. Give it a little slice of the knife. Put that away. This is very thin, but very strong apparently. And so, yeah, I'm just gonna pop that right on there. There, nice. A little bit more stuff. There we go. That's good. Tent becomes clothesline. No, yeah, yeah. It's trying to look all cute. Yeah. Wear off that dirt off your nose. Okay, sweetheart. Why don't you lay down? Put your head down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Beginning of the road, it says.